welcome to another one of our videos looking at Construct 3. This time we're going to be talking about the layers bar. The layers bar is used to add, edit and remove layers in a layout. Make sure you don't get those two terms confused. A layout is a pre-arranged set of objects and can represent things like a title screen or a level. Layouts will contain a stack of layers, which can be described as sheets of glass which you paint your objects onto. Layers allow you to easily arrange which objects display over others, like making sure your background stays in the back. But enough about the difference between terms, let's talk about the layers bar itself. The default position for the layers bar is the bottom right hand side of the editor in combination with the tile map bar, but more on that in another video. But of course, as with all of C3's bars, you can put it wherever you want to. In the bar, you can see a list of all the layers associated with the current layout. Selecting a layer will highlight it and make it the active layer. This will display the layer's properties in the properties bar and will be the layer in which all new objects are inserted into. The little number on the right hand side tells you the zero based index of the layer. So if you need to enter a layer number in the event system, this would be the number you'd use. Though more often than not, it's easier to put in the full name of the layer as these won't change if you then decide to reorder your layers. Talking of ordering layers, the ones at the bottom of the list are displayed at the back. So that's for things like your background. While layers at the top of the list are displayed at the front. So in terms of the numbers, the layer at the very front will have the highest index number. And if you want to reorder your layers, you can drag and drop them as you need to. Now, moving on, this padlock to the left of the layer name allows you to lock or unlock that layer. If a layer is locked, then you can't select any objects within that layer. So let's say you've put your background on one layer and are now working on another one. Locking the background layer means you won't accidentally select it or move it when you start working on your new layer. Also, if you try to add something to a layer that is locked, then Construct will inform you that you've added an object to a locked layer and you won't be able to do anything with the object until you unlock the layer. If you put something on the wrong layer by accident, then you can change the objects layer in the properties bar. Turning our attention back to the bar, this little checkbox here allows you to toggle whether or not a layer is visible in the editor. Bear in mind this has no effect on your game when previewing or exporting. If you want to make sure a layer is invisible in your actual game, you need to use the visibility settings in the properties bar. Finally, if you right click on one of your layers, you can bring up a menu of additional options, including adding a new layer to the top or bottom of the stack, renaming or deleting layers, and shortcuts to change the visibility or locked status of multiple layers. And that's the layers bar. Don't forget, you can always check the manual if you want to read up about it. There'll be a link to the relevant page in the description. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.